Etienne Jacques Joseph Alexander Macdonald, 1st Duke of Taranto, the 17th of November 1765 to the 25th of September 1840, was a marshal of the empire and military leader during the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Family background. Macdonald was born in Sedan, Ardennes, France. His father, Neil McEachin, later MacDonald, came from a Jacobite family from Haubeg in South Uist, in the west of Scotland. He was a close relative of Flora MacDonald, who played a key role in the escape of Prince Charles Edward Stuart after the failure of the 1745 Rising. <laughs> <laughs> Military life In 1784, MacDonald joined the Irish Legion, was made lieutenant on April 1785, raised to support the Revolutionary Party in the 1581–1795 Dutch Republic against the 1701–1918 Kingdom of Prussia and was made its lieutenant on 1 April 1785. After it was disbanded, he received a commission in the Regiment of Dillon. At the start of the French Revolution, the regiment of Dillon remained loyal to the king, except for MacDonald, who was in love with Mlle Jacob, whose father was an enthusiastic revolutionary. After his marriage, on 17 August 1792, he was promoted to captain, and on 29 August 1792, he was appointed aide-de-camp to General Charles-François Dumouriez. He distinguished himself at the Battle of Gemaps, and was promoted to Lieutenant Colonel on 12 November 1792 and then Colonel on 8 March 1793. He refused to desert to the Austrians with Dumouriez and as a reward was made General de Brigade on 26 August 1793 and appointed to command the leading brigade in Pichegru's invasion of the Netherlands. His knowledge of the country proved useful, and he was instrumental in the capture of the Dutch fleet by French hussars in January 1795. In 1797, having been made General de Division back in November 1794, he now served first in the Army of the Rhine and later in the Army of Italy as of 24 April 1798. When he reached Italy in 1798, the Treaty of Campo Formio had been signed on 18 October 1797, and Bonaparte had returned to France, but, under the direction of Berthier, MacDonald occupied Rome in the 1798–1799 Roman Republic, of which he was made governor on 19 November 1798, and then in conjunction with Championnet he defeated General Mack at the Battle of Ferentino, the Battle of Otricoli, the 5 December 1798 Battle of Civita Costa Delana, and two military affairs, first at Calvi Risorta and then on 3 January 1799 at Capua, and then by 10 January 1799, he had resigned his office due to disagreements with Championnet. However, despite any differences, the men managed to conquer the 1282-1799 Kingdom of Naples, which then became known as the Parthenopean Republic. When Suvorov invaded northern Italy in March 1799 with an Austro-Russian army, and was undoing the conquests of Bonaparte and defeated Moreau at Cassano and San Giuliano. In response MacDonald moved northwards in command of the Armée de Naples. With 36,000 men, he attacked Suvorov's 22,000 men at the Trebia. After three days fighting, receiving no help from Moreau, he was utterly defeated and retreated to Genoa. Later, he was made governor of Versailles and acquiesced, even if he did not participate, in the events of the 18 Brumaire. In 1800, he received command of the army in the Helvetic Republic, maintaining communications between the armies of Germany and of Italy. He carried out his orders diligently, and in the winter of 1800-01, he was ordered to march over the Splugen Pass at the head of the army of the Grisons. This achievement is described by Mathieu Dumas, his chief of staff, and is as noteworthy as Bonaparte's passage of the St. Bernard before the Battle of Marengo, although MacDonald did not fight a battle. On his return to Paris, MacDonald married the widow of General Joubert, and was appointed French ambassador to Denmark. Returning in 1805, he was associated with Moreau and thus incurred the dislike of Napoleon, who did not include him in his first creation of marshals. Under Napoleon He remained without employment until 1809, but then Napoleon made him military advisor to Prince Eugène de Beauharnais, viceroy of the Kingdom of Italy and a corps commander. 
He led the army from Italy to join with Napoleon, and at Wagram, led the attack which broke the Austrian centre and won the victory. Napoleon made him a Marshal of France on the field of battle, and soon after created him Duke of Taranto in the Kingdom of Naples. In 1810, MacDonald served in Spain and in 1812, he commanded the left wing of the Grande Armée for the invasion of Russia. He was sent to the north but did not succeed in occupying Riga. In 1813, after participating in the battles of Lutzen and Bautzen, he was ordered to invade Silesia, where Blücher defeated him with great loss at Katzbach. At the Battle of Nations in 1813, his force was pushed out at Liebertwolkwitz by Johann von Klenau's IV Corps Austrian. .On a counterattack, his troops took the village back. Later that day, Klenau foiled his attempt to flank the Austrian main army, commanded by Karl Philipp, Prince of Schwarzenberg. After the Battle of Leipzig, he was ordered to cover the evacuation of Leipzig with Prince Poniatowski. After the blowing up of the last bridge over the river, he managed to swim the Elster, but Poniatowski drowned. During the defensive campaign of 1814, MacDonald again distinguished himself. He was one of the marshals sent by Napoleon to take the notice of his abdication to Paris. When all were deserting Napoleon, MacDonald remained faithful. He was directed by Napoleon to give his adherence to the new regime, and was presented with the sabre of Murad Bey for his fidelity. <laughs> Under the Bourbons. At the Restoration, he was made a peer of France and Knight Grand Cross of the Royal Order of St. Louis. He remained faithful to the new order during the Hundred Days. In 1815, he became Chancellor of the Legion of Honor, a post he held till 1831. In 1816, as Major General of the Royal Bodyguard, he took part in the debates of the Chamber of Peers, created under the Charter of 1814, voting consistently as a moderate liberal. From 1830, he lived in retirement at his country place Corselesel Roy, Saint -et -Oise, where he died on 25 September 1840, the September 1840 aged 74. Personal life In 1791, he married Marie Constance Sorel de Montoisier died 1797 and had two daughters Anne Charlotte 1792 Adele Elizabeth 1794 in 1802, he married Félicité Françoise de Munthalen died 1804, the widow of General Joubert, and had a daughter, Alexandrine Amy 1803 in 1821, he married Ernestine Therese de Borgoing 1789 and had a son Louis Marie 1824 <laughs> Scottish legacy On 30 April 2010, a plaque was unveiled to the memory of Marshal of France Jacques MacDonald on the outer Hebridean island of South Uist, the familial home of MacDonald. MacDonald had visited South Uist in 1825 in order to find out more about his family roots. <laughs> Summation Of him, the Encyclopædia Britannica of 1911 says, MacDonald had none of that military genius that distinguished D. A. Vaut, Massena and Lands, nor of that military science conspicuous in Marmont and St. Cyr, but nevertheless his campaign in Switzerland gives him a rank far superior to such mere generals of division as Oudinot and Dupont. This capacity for independent command made Napoleon, in spite of his defeats at the Trebia and the Battle of Katzbach, trust him with large commands till the end of his career. As a man, his character cannot be spoken of too highly, no stain of cruelty or faithlessness rests on him. <laughs> Notes <laughs>